Stephen, it's pretty amazing to report some good news on the economy for a change. Even though the unemployment rate in Michigan stands at about 10.4% right now, the experts say it is going down. Accentuate the color of your eyes. 27 year old Erin Maloney has some news that's worth singing about tonight. She recently moved from Seattle to Michigan, and two weeks ago, she got a job. Definitely happy. <laughs> it's nice to have some uh, money in my pocket again. According to economists at the University of Michigan, Michigan's economy is on the mend. In fact, they're saying that 64,600 people will have new jobs by the end of the year, 10 times what was predicted just a few months ago. Most in manufacturing, but Aaron was hired to teach music. It's really good because I was starting to think about leaving Michigan again, and you know, I started talking to my boyfriend about it and considering maybe going back to New York or Seattle, so this will keep me around for a while. It's high time that the jobs came back to Michigan. A.J. O'Neill knows about jobs and the need for them. At his Ferndale Cafe, he just ended a marathon 15-day concert that was all about the community's need for more work. It's just great for the entire state, for our region. I, I've seen people come in here giving me high fives. I got a job, you know. It, it's such a good feeling. We're always rooting for them. Jobs wanted. Here's, here's a painting, plaster, drywall guy. The bulletin boards in the back of his place are almost like the unemployment lines. People want to work, and tonight, at least in Michigan, it looks like they might get the chance now, and that is music to their ears. Should I take a chance, though? Now, the experts say we can expect 61,000 new jobs in Michigan next year. They say the tsunami and the earthquake in Japan could have a short-term effect on manufacturing, but not enough to derail the recovery, and that's good news. Reporting live in Ferndale, I'm Cheryl Choden, Channel 7 Action News. That's quite literally music to our ears tonight. Cheryl, thank you so very much.